Okay. Oh, we're back at the base. I forgot I came back here. Right, because I didn't need cobalt for much. We were going to potentially upgrade a couple of things. So first and foremost, yeah, we've upgraded most of these. These are all the weapons. I really wish uh, weapons and equipment included the towers. Maybe? Did we get walls level 3? I don't think so. Where even would that be? Oh, we haven't gotten the shield generator yet. We're getting close. Close-ish. I'm not seeing where walls would be in this mess. So that's power. Radar. Bunch of things. I think I've played this kind of out of order, but that's okay. I have the foggiest where higher tier walls would be. And there's no easy way for me to check. Oh well. Uh, either way, let's go down to this. Because I think we can upgrade a couple of these, yeah? Yeah. Alright, start by upgrading those. And then I should be able to make another laboratory, yeah? Perfect. Uh, let's see. Here's the question. Can I upgrade these? Yes. And okay, we might as well upgrade all of these, get them ready. Question is, can I get another water pump up in here? Liquid pump. Yeah, it's not going to let me. You can only have so many of these. That's yeah, okay. Let's see if the higher tier versions will work. Um. Okay, so this is outputting 150 mud per second. This can process 100 mud per second and put out 75 water per second. These maybe only take 20? Okay, so it looks like I can get a laboratory here. Yeah, with the amount of water that we're current pro currently processing, I think we're fine. And I'll just put it there. And then if we go back to this, there we go. Perfect. Should be lined up. Should be plenty of water. Because I think even at the highest tiers, these will not... Oh no, that's the watering plant. The lab. Yeah, these will only require so much. It is going to take a while to build. Okay, so what else What else can I upgrade? That's not the upgrade button. Okay, so I can upgrade almost, almost all of these? I can upgrade a lot. Can't upgrade the walls or the gates yet, though. Okay, but either, even then, we might as well kind of boost up a number of these. Okay. I don't actually know if upgrading these is useful, considering is what it is. I'm here. I might as well upgrade them. Get them nice and beefy. Yeah, because this this area is actually an interior defense now. But, you know, I kind of prefer the extra redundancy. Ooh. What's going on with my power? My power is bad. Question. Can I upgrade those yet? No. Damn. Because, yeah, we, we haven't gotten to renewable power yet. We need to be down here, which means I need headquarters level 5. Okay, well, if I'm burning this much power now, like right now, that's actually really bad. Because that means I'm going to run out real quickly. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact... Oh... I burnt a tremendous amount. Of carbonium there. That's the rub. That's the issue. My base is pretty solid up until I burn too much carbonium all at once. At which point this whole power network thing. Kind of goes kaput. Okay. Let's just mitigate. I think we'll be fine. I've still got half a million, and that should let me rebuild these. Unfortunately, this gets really expensive really fast. The other thing I could do is turn off all of the aronium production. 
Or slow the whole damn thing down. Boy, I'm evicting them even from their habitual headless chicken run route. I feel kind of bad about that. I don't really, actually. Okay, how bad is it? Still pretty bad. Okay, let's just reclaim our power slowly and safely. I'm detecting a decrease in wind speed. This may affect our wind turbines. Oh no, that's bad. I don't have the power for that kind of shenanigans right now. But I'm just gonna flip all the of these is off. Very slow today. Wind turbine efficiency is not going to be that great. Okay, luckily I can just turn, like, a ton of these off. It's not that big of a deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. Okay, oh my god. This is... This is a problem. How much... We're only at 50%. Yeesh. It's, I mean, it's fine. We'll be okay. I just have to turn off all of the setup here. What we need to do is get into fusion reactors and a bunch of other, like, really ridiculous things. There we go. I think we're fine now. Okay. Uh, show. Here's the Earth. Around, well, the power is down and we have these immediate issues. Let's, um... Let's go clear out the north. It's offended me for the last time. I don't have any gates here, do I? <laughs> Not a one. Alright. There we go. I'll have my resources come back on their own. Worst comes to worst, I effectively just delete every single monster up north. Like, we just delete every single monster up north here. And then I just take the north as mine. There we go. Because, yeah, I, I could just kind of yoink this whole area. Um, and not have to worry about it if there's if there's no creatures living here. Just build a bunch of power cables leading to various spots. And then just go nuts. The only immediate problem would be if we get attacked from the north. Which does happen. Uh, and is almost kind of inevitable. And the trade-off would be I could, well, the thing is, though, like, I don't even need any of these, these things, though. Like, it's just carbonium and aronium, which, like, nice stuff, don't get me wrong. I want to get rid of that, uh, that flame jump. It's not actually that good. I prefer the dash. It's not expecting to still have the jump. Whoops. I guess we never actually confirmed the switch. There we go. Now we've got the dash. There we go. The dash is just useful for getting around the jump less so. Okay. Yeah, like I said, much more useful for getting around. There we go. Plus, we got a couple of things that I can just snag while I'm here. Anything else? Nope. What about you? Right, of course. It ain't time anyway. It's time to jam. Ow. Oh, there's there's still a ham bone shooting at me. There you go. Not anymore. To shreds, you say. To shreds, I say. Okay. So when power is back up to full, I'm just going to let it kind of do its thing for the moment. Oh yeah, I didn't actually... What is this stuff? Hanzanite. Oh, hey. Useful. Oh, that reminds me. There's a, uh... There's a structure I was told about. 
as being pretty good. I should take a look at that in a bit. Let's see. The cultivator lets me cultivate rare resources at like minimal cost. And so I think that might actually be one of, that might be something I specifically go out of my way for here. Okay, but for now, let's shell this guy into oblivion. There we go. And same thing with these guys. I don't see anything else. The music went kind of in, into intense go mode, and I usually associate that with an attack. But no, it's probably just these guys. Yeah, we're good. He's melt full me. Oh. There was an Invisi dude. Couple of Invisi dudes. Well, looks like some of them burnt burnt to death though. Plus side. Let's go get my stuff back. Yeah, I should probably look into maybe getting some upgrades. I mean, I should look into a lot of things. I've been I've been very much ri riding high on my own cheese. And it's made it a little tough. Okay, there's the Invisidude. I'm surprised that they were able to ace me as fast as they were. Okay, I see more Aronium. Well, let's go back to the base for a hot second. Can I upgrade any of these? Can I upgrade the base? I think we're good, we just need the Carbonium. Well, let's go back here and turn on a number of the generators. Still want to recoup our losses a little bit, but not too much. But every time I come back to this base, something is like wrong with it. Okay. I definitely want to potentially get my power up, so I'm running like a hella surplus, but that's going to take a while. I mean, technically, if I just was gathering Carbonium via not alchemy, then I think this would be um, less of a problem. Okay, looks like it can turn on all of these generators. I think I might leave the iron off for the time being, just because we don't need it as bad. There we go. Okay, next order of business is this. Can I upgrade these? No, because we need titanium. Okay. Well, in that case, I guess I'm just gonna, I'm gonna warp down here. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Cultivator. Well, I guess I can heart, uh, I can upgrade both of these, so I might as well. There's something about the cultivator that lets me specifically, whoops, bump the mic. Um, the cultivator lets me cultivate certain types of, certain types of plants, and I'm not sure how to do it. Oh, here we go. So, interesting. This one has titanium. So, I believe what this should do is start growing. Warning. An enemy attack is imminent. We should build stronger defenses around our base. So this should start growing those kind of mushroomy things. So six drones. Two drones. I'm curious. I, I'm going to have to look up the... Wow, that grows fast, actually. I'm going to have to look up how that works. Because there's there's some potentially, like, really interesting things. Uh, as in, like, growing free titanium? I mean, obviously, yes, please. Okay. There we go. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna increase the thickness of these walls. At this point, these these attacks are gonna start getting pretty 
parry. And I might as well be as ready for them as I possibly can be. There we go. Question, can I upgrade any of these? Yes. I can upgrade all of the sentry turrets. Looks like it costs some cobalt to do so, but it's probably worth it. It looks like they're probably mostly going to hit the top. Okay, so what else do we do while we are here? We mostly wait. I could potentially make this place scarier. I guess I can. I'm just going to get another layer of gate. That should be fine. Look, this way... This way, this area will just hold. It's a little tempting to try and maybe get a second Danger. one of these. An enemy swarm is approaching our base. I, I bet I could get a second combat. one and it would probably be okay. Alright, next order of business is crafting. Because we've got the blaster... Yeah, so I can finally start grabbing some of the higher tier guns. I need Hazenite if I want to actually get that, though. Well... Do I want to get the grenade launcher? Yeah, let's grab that. Do I want to try a different gun? Because what's the difference between the machine gun and the plasma gun? So plasma gun does 62 to 70, so it, it shoots less, does way more damage. Rate of fire is much lower, but it has a baseline splash damage radius that this doesn't. So yeah, let's make a higher tier plasma gun. Because that actually, that sounds pretty good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna disassemble all of the low-tier things. There we go. Okay, and we've got mods. Well, what do we have? Cluster projectiles enable. Maybe. Homing projectiles enable. Really tempting with the grenades. Let's do that. And what do we want to do with this? Extra splash damage, reduce spread, projectiles per burst. That sounds interesting, I just don't know if it's any good. I'm gonna give it a shot. What's the worst that could happen? Alright, and... In the interest of being my own guinea pig. I like the, um... Oh. Boy. I like the homing on the grenade launcher. That alone makes it, like, just a gazillion times better than it was. Obviously, I'm gonna have to watch out for my ammo count a little bit here. However, I pretty much can hold the line almost single-handedly with the backup of... Okay. Not fully. Like, they're not reaching my walls. And this is me with, like, subpar resources. We need to go out of our way very specifically. I might want to actually consider making the shotgun for stuff like this. What if there's a pierce upgrade that I can get? Um, gosh, what was I going to say? We need to go get those other resources. Which, speaking of, actually means I need to go scan a bunch of plants. Like, this is pretty... Oh my god, this is carnage. Uh, those harvesters have the potential of getting me tons of resources that I wouldn't normally have access to uh, in large quantities, and I can potentially get them infinitely. The only immediate problem is I have to scan tons and tons of them to get a higher uh, percentage familiarity. I feel like you could almost... There should be, like, a cultivator science machine that specifically lets you research them. Okay. Just let the homing grenades do their dirty business. Their dark duty. Alright. Well, grand scheme, grand scheme of things, that worked out incredibly well. We're full up on carbonium, which means we've got tons of power. 
Life is good. Cool. All right, I'm going to go back to the labs. Which I should be able to upgrade. Looks like that's the maximum of what I can upgrade. Oof, that is pricey. <sighs> okay, what else do we do? I think at this point, we skadoodle. Because it, it is time for me to go out. Oh, super coolant factory. I wish I had actually paid attention to what that did. Look, like one of these. Super coolant. Oh, okay. So it requires energy and titanium, but produces super coolant, which is for nuclear power. There's also the magma power plant, which sounds really good. I guess I'll throw it onto the list. Same thing with the cryogenic atomizer. I mean, like so many of these things we just want to research eventually. But, let's see. So this was the cobalt one. Uranium? No. We need titanium. But now we've got fire shielding, so it shouldn't be so bad. Uh, let's see. This thing can work. I'm digging these guns together. I might have to get the the minigun, frankly. Okay. Combine all these together. Okay, we've got a bunch of these plants, which I get the very distinct feeling that these might be um, like a titanium-rich. A specific titanium rich plant. I could be wrong, but unless I'm mistaken, maybe this whole harvester deal is actually like a really good idea. Just get a giant thing of like water production and go nuts. What is Look this? at this object. It's enormous. And it just floats in the air like it doesn't weigh anything. It is emitting a powerful magnetic field. It is disrupting most of my equipment. We will not be able to construct any buildings within its immediate area of effect. It looks alien on an alien planet. But stay away from it. It reminds me of how I lost my arm. Oh, shoot. That's a big sucker. Okay. And it looks like I can just kind of mulch through these guys like, really smoothly. There we go. These are, these are some good guns. Goodbye. Okay, so these gravity anomaly things are actually, like, just all over the place. I might have to blow some of them up. Originally, I was like, oh, I might, like, preserve one or two. And the answer is, nope. That's a the terrible idea. The data that we've gathered about these strange magnetic rocks is fascinating. Their structure doesn't resemble anything that we've seen so far. They generate a strong electromagnetic field that can distort gravity. This shouldn't be possible. They are also impervious to all of our standard weapons and equipment. They are practically indestructible. We can't shatter oh. them, but maybe we could dissolve them. A strong enough acid might do the trick. Well, looks like we're doing that radar thing. Oh. I I guess I have to build within the cold area. I thought I had heat shielding, or maybe I don't have heat shielding yet. Okay, this is 15 per second. Okay, so yeah, we only we've need built two per the radar. the first radar station. It isn't easy to provide enough power in this biome. The atmosphere is very thick, and it's reducing the effectiveness of wind and solar generators. We will need a few additional radar stations to triangulate the position of the titanium deposit. Try to place them as far from each other as possible. They need to cover a wide area. The sky is covered in ash and dust. Our solar panels are useless now. Okay. Yeah, let's just clear out some enemy groups. These guns are just perfect bullet hoses. We definitely we definitely want to get the minigun. Oh, that's the enemy nearby. Please don't do that. That's just rude. Okay, how's it doing? It's mostly fine. Okay, yeah, so we're going to have to get down here. Luckily, there's no immediate resources that I need to care about, but... Uh, the one thing I wanted to check, plants. We're looking for 
Is it this stuff? Or is it this stuff? Redis Rubidis. Familiarity level four. Yeah, it has a titanium titanium drop. I don't think that's the one I'm looking for. So what is this stuff again? Oh, hi. Is this Brutus uh, Futilis Rubidus? Hopefully this is this stuff. It gives me titanium. Though I think um, scanning it repeatedly isn't really worth it. To be honest. Like it gives me a 1% boost per. Which is nice. If there was an auto scanner that I could do. I think that would do it. Futilis Rubidus. Yeah, so it's level 5 now. Uh, it's a 2% per. So it's like, it's worth it, but it's not that worth it, is my Research issue. Completed. Okay, so we got the Ionizer. Did we never actually get... No, there's the Shockwave Tower. We did. So I guess... Oh, no, this just pr protects the Mecha Suit. It doesn't actually protect me. Oh, that's unfortunate. It's fine. So I'll add the Laser Tower. Uh, and the laser gun? This research is going to take hours. Oh. And we've got a rock boy. Delete rock boy. Okay, that did hurt. And it's gone. Okay, what other critters do we have here? I see you guys. You can't escape me. You think you might be able to escape me. This is false. The atmosphere is clearing up. Base operations returning to nominal levels. Oh, and this is another one of these Genrot Ultras. He's big. And is dead. I am very strong. It's nice. Okay, do we have anybody else? No, I'm going to keep going down. I want to just go for maximum coverage here if I can manage it. Oh, here's the thing. Oh. That should piss them all off. Okay, woo. That is a lot of bad boys. Holy shit, that's a lot of god. Oh my god, it's like a literal meat fountain. And they're still coming. I think that was all of them. That was... <laughs> they really didn't want me to get to this thing. Nope. Still ain't done yet. Okay, there we go. The meat meat fountain is over. Now it, now it is... It is just progression time. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, shit. These are big, chunky, and hurty. There we go. Ugh. Gross. Okay. I swear we had the ability... We had some kind of ability to make... No, those are the synthesizers. Plasma converter, ionizer. Plasmas out of other resources. Biocomposter. Cultivator. No. This is what I'm looking for. We have the shield generator, the attack drone tower, but we have no AI cores. I don't remember how to... I don't remember how to grow the ice. Oh my gosh. This area got stinky. Okay, let's just get rid of these guys. There we go. Alright, this area looks reasonable. And interesting. Uh, let's see. So we want to get two wind... Wind things. Wind turbines. Wind things. You know what I mean. Alright, plonk him there. That should give us some extra coverage. What is the, um... What's the upgrade for a radar dish look like? 
Needs uranium. Yeah, we haven't gotten into that yet. yet. I think we're good? No? Like, doesn't want to connect for whatever reason. Oh, because 50% wind power in this area. There we go. That should be enough. Now, obviously, that gives me a lot more immediate coverage, but I think I want to go back to that center area. We'll have some overlap here. But, like, I might as well anyway. Especially because we've got this big ice plant just hanging out right in this area. these. Okay, what about here next? Because I, I wonder if this is a temporary zone. If this is the kind of place that... Oh, gosh. Hi. There we go. Please. Oh, they're the lava mud men. Oh, we just got minigun towers. That's exciting. Especially... Once we have a supply of titanium that I can actually rely on. Let me go a little further out. This seems like a good spot to make a radar. Hello. We made friend. We've made great many friend, in fact. Okay. So they're just resisting that. Yeah, I want to stay away from the explosives because if I get rid of that, if the, I get rid of that ice plant, we're in, we're in trouble. I'm not in trouble, but look, it's inconvenient. Okay. And then I should be able to make a radar here. And yeah, it looks like the other radar is actually having power troubles. So I should get back and probably buff it up. Ashley, we've constructed enough radar stations to locate the titanium deposit. I am marking its approximate position on our map. Excellent. Let's go there and search for it with the geoscanner. Okay. Not so tough now, are you? Okay. Get rid of the rest of them. It doesn't seem to affect the frost plant that much. That's good. Let's just zoop back. Oh, and make new friends. And then kill them. Delete friends. I am bad friend. Nope. I was considering fixing up that radar up north, but like, hard to care. Oh boy. Is this actually accessible? Should be. It should be around here somewhere. Oh. I've got to use the geoscanner for this. Well, this seems like a piss poor spot. We've got it, but the amount of titanium in this deposit is not impressive to say the least. It is enough to provide data for the orbital scanner to search for more significant deposits on the ground. Okay, let's start the orbital scanning procedure. Mm. We have to find more titanium. Orbital scanning in progress. Searching for traces of titanium within the planet's volcanic zone. This will take some time to complete. Okay. Orbital scanning finished. We've located a new planetary location with larger underground titanium deposits. Warning. The volcanoes in that area are very active. Make sure to equip any armor enhancements that we have available before going there. Well, I think this area is effectively a bust. There's nothing else to do with it, so I think we're just going to get out of here. Okay. So, gather uranium more samples. I mean, it's an option. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, shoot. I'm in the... Yep. Can't do anything while I'm there. Alright. So let's go over here. And we want to... I mean, really, realistically, we want to get all of these done. But I think I want to start with the titanium. Gather titanium in an area of intense volcanic activity. And I don't really care about any of these. Yeah, we're good. I'm really curious how much that harvester is getting me titanium-wise, though. Like, I... Oh, I should check to see if there's a chart or something, or some way that I can pull it up and just watch it tick up a little bit. Because one option we have is actually just straight up farming this stuff. What I should do is probably go back to the base at some point and just give it a check and, and see how many of those mushrooms I've managed to grow. Rift jump successful. Warning. Nearby volcanic eruption detected. Watch out for falling debris. Mr. Riggs, can you track the incoming rocks that pose a threat to your armor? Affirmative. I have enabled projectile hit prediction and am actively marking estimated collision locations. Evade these markers as soon as you see them. We only have a few seconds to act. Okay, this mission is going to be intense. We'll have to dodge volcanic bombardment and search for titanium at the same time. Ashley, the orbital scanner detected titanium deposits hidden underground. If we can gather enough titanium from this area, we should be able to study the geological composition of titanium-rich ores present on this planet. The next logical step will be to establish a permanent titanium mining outpost. I found that it. makes perfect sense. Equip the geoscanner and let's start hunting for treasure. Well, there's some titanium. Certainly was not enough titanium. Holy shit, there's a lot of enemies here. Okay. Nope. That's just the carbonium. We don't care about the carbonium. Nor do we care about big bad mud boys. Was it this? Oh. Or, no, it was this. Well, it's an option. Okay. So I'm just... Oh, okay. So I'm supposed to gather a certain amount, and then that will give me enough. To actually gather what I need. Because this place is kind of rough. I like these guys. They explode when hit. Or I guess really when you do enough damage to them. But I certainly do enough damage to them. Ow, 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 rude. I really wish there was an upgrade to, the, like, the Geoscanner and a couple other things. Like, I think it would be really interesting if you could get a, a passive Geoscanner upgrade. That's just like, hey, you know, scan everything in the Im immediate environment. Same thing with the Bioscanner. Because I don't necessarily hate both, but I find them to be kind of that, that slow level of minigame that I could definitely use, like... No. Oh. Maybe there's a maybe there's a way of doing this better. Uh let me double check. Industry. Here. But well, we haven't gotten the higher higher tier of energy sensors yet. Because I'm wondering if these. It gives me a better resource drop rate, yes. Ah, see, we haven't got we haven't gotten it yet. We're getting really close. We're on to advanced mini guns. And then we'll be able to get this. Because energy sensors plus. Better drop rates? I mean, I know I know for a fact I have one equipped. Okay, let's just go after these guys. Then these.
Okay, there we go. I equipped my mine gun is in the wrong spot. Okay, is that all of them? I think we're good. That hurt. That hurt really bad. I might want to just keep the mine launcher. I've been kind of avoiding using it because I don't want to blow up anything important. Like that one objective I failed. But it is certainly helpful for getting rid of big mooks. Okay. There we go. Did I get... No, there it is. Well, I got us something. Whatever it was, it was purple. Okay. Let's just hope I don't get clobbered. There we go. Uh, unfortunately, I'm out of that titanium. Went straight into the drink. It's like, no thank you. Please don't do that. Oh god, there's so much. Whoa. You're a big sucker. Shit, you're a big sucker. Okay. A big sucker, he did not live long, though. Were these invisible or were these underground? I don't know. Does it matter? Okay. So we have a something here. There we go. I'm gonna be more titanium. Always is. There we go. Just stay away from the falling lava. We'll get it. We'll get it done relatively quickly. Oh! Wow, oh, that's fortuitous. Yeah, I should probably make it a habit, especially in areas like this, to just be running around pressing, uh, pressing spacebar just to scan. Because who knows? I might be standing on top of a a deposit, and not even know. And they seem to be incredibly common, at least around here. But yeah, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to worry about putting up any kind of permanent base. At least in this zone. But the one thing is, I know a number of these I can break. That'll give me like Rhodonite and whatnot. Whoa. I was... The hell did you come from? I mean, it's fine. It truly is fine. Ow. Eh, it just took off most of my shields. Nothing else to worry about. There we go. I'm shocked that these guys aren't literal loot pinatas. But I guess they're just made out of rock. Oh. There we go. I love the spear. Right, and the spear... Gives me HP back. Not that I really need it. I've got plenty of regen. No, don't fly into the void. That would be tragic. Alright, we good? No. Need one more. That was so close. Maybe if some of the deposits hadn't, or hadn't just sent their stuff flying into the sunset. Mainly into the lava. Then I wouldn't be having this problem. Have you ever considered this is rude? Oops. Okay, he dead. There we go. But that ain't it. But yeah, I swear these plants are supposed to give me titanium. Maybe they are. There we go. Thank you for that. Well, it gets me Rodenite at the very least. Which is something I think I'm going to need for some reason or another. Okay, it's around here somewhere. There we go. Perfect. We get Mech Tools advanced. Yes. Mission accomplished. 
We've gathered enough titanium to be able to study its geological presence patterns on Galatea 37. Excellent. Let's queue up downloading of the appropriate titanium handling technology and start scanning for a good location for a titanium mining outpost. Orbital scanning in progress. We should have a good location for a titanium mining outpost soon. That was weird. Okay, so it doesn't look like we've got it yet, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't look like I get DNA by breaking all of these plants, unfortunately. Which means I do, in fact, have to scan them. I'm not even sure if that's really the plant I need to be scanning here. It might actually be. That homing is not as good as I was hoping it would be. Okay, let's see if we can find one more. I don't know, that's a Multug. Probably one of these. I don't necessarily know which of these I should be heart scanning. There we go. I don't, I don't actually know what that gets me. Unless, scanning it more tells me the resources that I can potentially get from it. Woo! There we go. Maybe the other reason why the homing isn't working is because it's very low tier homing. It feels like it's almost enough. Okay. I'm just going to give them the old blasto. There we go. No mud men on my planet. Nope, that's a floaty. How do these plants even still survive? Ooh. I should maybe consider making some better health kits at some point. Okay. Do we have... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. This is what I meant to do. Okay, one way or another. We haven't found the location yet, so I think I'm just gonna write it off. Do we go back to HQ for the time being? Um... Okay, it's saying zero... Zero titanium per second. But we are getting 0.6 Ferdinite per second. Okay. Hold up. Here's the way I can check, because I'm pretty I'm pretty sure it's this this tentacle plant. Yeah. Oh. There's a difference. So there's this. And then there's this, which is what I've been scanning. This is the one that we're growing. I wonder if I can actually scan the ones that I'm growing. I'm gonna I'm gonna head back to HQ for the time being. But I guess between that, I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, of Rip Breaker. And yeah, I'll see if I can scan some plants. And if I can't, well, we'll just go out and do a bunch of those outpost missions until we have every resource. They're a little slow. I really wish you could actually just do them in one big area or something. But uh, eh, I don't know. It just feels like padding. Some amount of me really wishes that I just played like a, a series of survival maps instead. But at the same time, it's nice to do the campaign all this all the same and then any future times that I come back to this game I just throw it on survival and just say yep this is this is more fun I just like the more condensed experiences lately it's just my thing I guess